Hello adventurers, Andy from Twisted Narrative here and welcome to another Shadow Dark chat. While we eagerly await the arrival of the cool rulebook for Shadow Dark from the Kickstarter, uh, so I can go into a deep dive into the full rules and start creating some whole brew content without repeating uh, what is already written, I thought we would do another lore video. Uh, relating to our Shadow Dark Tales from the Smoke campaign. As always, feel free to take these ideas on board if they're of use to you. Feel free to use them in your games. Um, let me know what you think. Do you like these lore videos? Put a, uh, put a comment here down below in the comment section. Uh, I have also attached uh, links in the comment section below uh to the tales from the smoke actual plays that we are doing so today we will be looking at the guilds and one guild in particular the guilds of the smoke are numerous and they fill many important roles throughout the city uh, they allow like-minded individuals to band together for protection and financial benefit and today we are going to focus our attentions upon the Beggars Guild. The Beggars can be found in all parts of the city and to any newcomer to the smoke they perhaps don't seem to serve any purpose but Beggars are experts at gathering information. They listen out for whispers, secrets, they can sell for coin. If you want to know something, anything, ask a beggar. There is also always a price or a cost to this so bear that in mind the current head of the guild is one uncle pockets and an audience with him is difficult to arrange but not impossible if you are lucky enough uh, uh, to meet with him you would notice that uncle pockets is a man of indeterminate age gangly and unshaven greasy hair hidden by a battered top hat his clothes don't fit him his trousers too short showing his odd match boots and lower legs his patched lung coat far too big dragging on the floor and the sleeves covering his hands with only his fingertips visible he also carries a large stick the top of which has been well rounded and fire hardened and always seems to be in the company of a man-ridden bulldog by the name of Spike. The Beggar's Guild is currently based in one of the towers of Tower Bridge, one of the bridges, one of the many bridges that spans the polluted river known as the Slick. It is always a hive of activity with beggars keen to pass on their whispers and receive payment for the one of the walls is covered with pigeon lofts. Uh, seeds are scattered about all over the floor and molting feathers and a terrible smell pervades this space. Uncle Pockets has a chosen few uh, to help him organize and run the Beggar's Guild. These are his scroungers. There is cake. Uh, an orc, an ex-soldier, uh, lost an arm during the war, but that does not stop him being a formidable enforcer for the guild. Then there is Florence, most commonly known as Flo, human, very young, but don't let her age colour your uh, opinion of her. She is an expert at getting adopted into prominent families across the smoke. Uh, and whilst in such a household, she uh, uses her time to find out many secrets about the household before returning back to the streets again. Then, of course, there's Patrick, or Trick as he likes to be known, a dwarf. He is the flock master, the pigeon fancier and the keeping keeper of the pigeon post. Uh, he loves 
all of these birds and knows them all by name. He seems to almost have the ability to speak with them. Then we have Jules, uh, an elf, and she fell from grace from the Cutters Guild. More about those in another video. But was given a home by Uncle Pockets. Uh, she is perhaps the guild's most skillfulest appraiser of physical items, trinkets traded for secrets. Of course, that isn't the main area of skill. That comes to worth an old halfling, and he is by far the most skilled appraiser of whispers, secrets and rumours, seeming to intuitively know what each snippet, each fragment of information is worth. worth. Um, he is also Uncle Pocket's second in command. He gets his name, quite obviously, by constantly being asked by other beggars, what's it worth? Well, that is the uh, Beggar's Guild, a snippet, a primer for it. Uh, I hope you like the flavour of it and it is of use to you. As usual, as I mentioned earlier, all the links are in the comment section below. Feel free to watch the actual plays. You never know, you might get to see some of these in action. Don't forget to watch out for another Shadow Dark chat coming soon. And please give us a like and a subscribe if you've enjoyed this or if it's been useful to you. Until then, adventurers, keep those torches lit.